Good morning. This program has elevated my teaching. The ultimate goal is that our RAM scholars um, will, will have a chance to enter into an ag labor force. So we have a huge need in the ag agriculture industry for um, employees across all skill levels. With these students and, and the opportunities we're trying to provide them is that they can enter into the labor force and feel like they have a contribution beyond uh, what they learned in some of their high school programs. Let's think about a cow for a minute. Do you know who helped us define what a flight zone in a cow is? Did you say it? Temple Grandin, right? For a few days. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at those huge hay bales. We have to go get the cows from. Remember those round pens we saw way over that far end? We gotta go get them from way down there. I had no expectations, to tell you the truth. This is blowing my mind. Honestly, it is way more than I ever thought it would be. It's exactly what Annika needed. She's been doing day program ever since she was done with high school, and it is just not um, challenging her enough. So this is filling a void that we had been looking for. It feels great to be free to help animals. I love animals like dogs and cats and other animals too. It makes me feel better to calm down and tell myself to be independent. In my mission, it's not like it. Um, I just a little bit scared. Um, I just like in the noir. Tell a story for me, um, it's okay, not that stuff. Don't be shy, not that. So, Anka is a amazing fan. Ready, go. What it means for them is that they're having an exposure to a potential pathway to a job, and not just to a job, but a career in a sector that is employing up here in Colorado. There are a lot of potential employers for people who have specific technical skills in the field of agriculture. And as Dr. Grandin says, we don't know what, a, what a, an individual might excel at until they have the exposure to it.